and we've got a dandy for you. A final 10 minutes to decide the winner between Team Sims and Team Gray. Odyssey's group came out of the locker room like a house on fire. A 30 piece in the third quarter to win the 60 points for winning the quarter and taking a big lead in the game. A lead that thanks to Alicia Gray's 10 points in the third quarter was whittled away a little bit. But man, this has been competitive. Brown. Or rather, Gray coming up with the basketball on the block of Muldrow. And it will be Colson triple try. Short. And Holmes looking for a guard to get it to. Odyssey back to Muldrow. Or excuse me, Koya Holmes. She was off on that three ball. And here goes the Gray offense. Right at the rim. She's got 29. Uh, Alicia Gray is going to keep coming and keep attacking. Team Sims, they got to get back to moving the basketball like they did in the third quarter to get back in the way they got back in this game. Sequoia Holmes with the finish. So 82-76 is the game score. As for the leaderboard, it is changing by the minute as Gray continues to add to her lead. She's equipped Eclipsed rather 4,000 points. Akila Mays triple. She had to shoot it because the shot clock was winding down and a great opportunity for Sims to add to the lead. Good defense by Mays. Muldrow kicking it back. Bell in the lane. Oh, that was so cute. I wanted that to fall. That little push shot. Colson you know. thought about the three, puts it on the deck. Kelsey Mitchell, ooh, ooh. she has got six three-pointers on the day. That ties an AU record for three-point shots made in a game. And of course, you know she's part of that record-holding group. Odyssey Sims gets the roll at the cup. So let's take another look at Mitchell doing what she does best. Well, Sydney, Alicia Gray, Kelsey Mitchell show, and here, Sid Colson just finding her shooter, Kelsey Mitchell stepping up, knocking it down. So Mitchell has tied her career high with those six threes. The next one will be an Athletes Unlimited pro basketball record of seven. No surprise that she can do that. She holds the record in the W with nine made in a game, so. <laughs> there you go. So, there you have it. Just a tough day at the office for Emily Inksler. She had just picked up her fifth personal foul, held to just three points, does have five rebounds, but you know she's frustrated that she can't contribute. Yeah, and, when, and when you're a player and you're having to play with fouls, it completely takes you out of your normal game. Kesley Mitchell with an and one opportunity. We are sitting next to the Odyssey Sims bench and facilitator Brian January keeps screaming, two people to stop, two people to stop. Mitchell Gray, <laughs> Mitchell Gray. Well, right now, that's who it is. Yes. It is Kelsey Mitchell scoring at will, Alicia Gray attacking, getting to the basket. So Brian January is saying, anybody else is going to step up and have to beat us we're not going to let those two do it but that's easier said than done 100 percent mitchell and gray a big part of the reason why team gray in gold and black has led here in this fourth quarter eight to four brown doesn't get the roll and are down just by two gray spinning no, Air Hearn with the rebound, and now Odyssey's group just wants to settle into its offense. Hearn, shake and bake, no. Plaisance with the rebound. Sid Colson sees numbers, bouncing beautifully to Haley Jones, and we're tied at 84. Sid Colson, just a, just a vet in this game, just knows the game so well, pushing in transition waiting on Haley Jones to run the floor with her for easy two. And then the turnover, Colson trying to get ahead of it, catches up to it. Gray 
Oh, she hits the floor hard. Gets up. Kirsten Bell wants a review. She doesn't think she committed the foul. Colson just pushing the ball in transition, keeping her head up, sees Haley Jones running with her. Haley with a nice shot fake to finish for two. And Alicia Gray attacking the basket. Oh, no wonder Kirsten Bell said review. She said, I didn't touch her. No review, but it's Gray at the free throw line. She and Mitchell have combined for 54 points. Gray with 29 points, now 30, and 10 rebounds for her second double-double of the season, fourth of her AU career. Angel McCautry checks in as Sequoia Holmes will take a seat. So Gray with an opportunity to add to the one-point lead, and she does. She's got 31, which is one shy of her career high of 32. Sims surveying. Air Hearn into McCautry. She gets the roll and earns a trip to the free throw line. I'm all old school. I the most up. Team Sims needed that bucket. They're getting beat badly in this fourth quarter. Yeah, Angel McCautry having an advantage on Alicia Gray on the block. I see you old school. Yeah, that was a big bucket. Team Sims absolutely needed that one. Team Sims has already used its first available challenge in the third quarter, so it can't be a challenge from Team Sims. So it's got to be coming from Team Gray. We are tied at 86, and it is Team Sims losing the quarter 12 to 6. We're back after this. Hey, the challenge was unsuccessful. So it will be Angel McCautry to the free throw line. Angel is shooting 67% from the strike. She's the first women's basketball player in Louisville history to have her jersey retired. That's kind of awesome. And it is Team Gray leading this quarter 12 to 6. So this free throw is needed. McCautry completes the three-point play the old-fashioned way. One of my favorite angel memories is when Kara Lawson, who I was working with at the time, picked against Louisville to get to the Final Four on TV, and all Angel did to the camera when they won to advance was, you were wrong, Kara, you were wrong. It was fantastic. Haley Jones at the rim. And I can see her doing it, too. Yes. She let him know it was awesome. Haley Jones has come to life. Yes, she in has. Fourth quarter for, for Team Team Gray. She's trying to pick up for Stanford for losing to USC in the Pac-12 turning title game. Nice finish at the bucket. It's nice when you have a vet like Angel McCautry who hasn't played a lot of minutes but can come in the game when you need her and hit some big buckets. Plays on, tracking down the loose ball. Another opportunity. Gray spinning, floating, doesn't get the roll. Air Hearn kicking it up to Kirsten Bell. She puts it on the deck, loses it, gets it back, and gets the roll. Kelsey Mitchell took a shot to the head. She's over in some difficulty. Gray says, I want to stop and wait for my player. So Gray has to come across court and call timeout and does just that. Kelsey Gray, or rather, Alicia Gray, getting some aid to her teammate, Kelsey Mitchell. Here's a look at what happened for you on the replay. Mm. Angel gave her a little, a little knock on the head. Mm. But it didn't look intentional no. the way Kelsey Mitchell was crouched to box out. 
It just looked like wrong place, wrong time. Just hope that she's okay. Our athletes unlimited athletics training crew is elite and takes care of all 40 of our players. A reminder, experience the excitement of AU Pro Basketball in person here in Dallas. Go to auprosports.com backslash tickets to get yours today. There's a DJ. Janae might talk to you in the stands. This is the place to be. Oh, and the DJ is always jamming. Right? Stars pull through. Mecca Rumike in the house. Well, and then the, the fans. Yes. Just the fans that are here. They have a good time. They make it fun for the players. And the players love interacting with the fans. Absolutely everybody has a good time here at the Fair Park Coliseum. Team Sims on top, 91-88 in the game. In the quarter, the advantage is three points for Team Gray, leading 14-11. to 11. So on the line, 60 quarter points for the win here in the fourth quarter and 180 points for the overall game win. We saw Team Cloud wearing orange come back and beat Team Mitchell in game one to take those 180 win points. And they won three straight quarters to close that game out. So it was a good day at the office for Tosh Cloud and company. And now we're five minutes away from determining who will join Team Cloud in the win column here on day one of week three. Haley Jones with the move at the cup. She's got 17. Yeah. Haley Jones, her game around the, around the basket and in the paint is really good and tough to defend because of her size. I see Sims wrap it around somehow and finds Brown. Haley Jones with a career high 17 points. To your point, Cheryl, she just looks different tonight. Yeah, well, when, when a player understands where her strength is and what her strength is, and they really focus to get to, to their strength, mm -hmm. like Haley Jones has done, I think one of the best parts of her game is, one, her size, yep, and then her ability to be able to score the ball in the paint over smaller guards is one of the best parts of her game. She puts it on the deck, trying to get around Angel McCautry and earns a trip to the free throw line as you watch our live leaderboard roll. Players pick up points for positive basketball plays and get dinged points for negative plays. McCautry picking up her first personal foul. It will be Jones at the free throw line, already with a career high 17, looking for more. Free throws have been a problem for her here at AU. Just 50% from the line this season. Why do you think that is, Cheryl? Yeah, free, free throws is about just repetition. Mm. Just working on a practice on it and keeping the same routine when you step up to the free throw line. Gray buries the triple. She's got a career high 34 with her third three-pointer of the game. And just like that, we're tied at 93 with under four minutes to go. Odyssey Sims wow. inside to Brown, up and in. Kalani Brown, nice catch, nice finish. Keeping it up high, away from the defense. Oh, Gray will go back to the free throw line after crashing into our camera folks. Hope everybody is okay as she has to be helped up. Alicia Gray just wide open, stepping up, knocking it down. <laughs> She's like, this is too easy. Gray already with a career high 34, looking to make it 35. She and Kelsey Mitchell have combined for 60 points. This free throw for the tie and a career high 36. And it's good. Boy, when that net snaps, you know that rotation is perfect. Like no rim at all. Gray had 10 points in the third quarter. She's got nine here in the fourth. 
Inside to McCautry, corrals it. And Gray picks up the personal foul. McCautry sticks the basketball and will head to the strike. What's that chuckle? <laughs> Alicia Gray did not like that call at all. It's like, I already have a double-double with 36 points and 10 rebounds. There is no way I can commit a foul, <laughs> even though it's only my second of the day. McCautry rattles that first free throw home. McCautry's been into double figures a couple times here in her debut AU season. Doesn't get the second one to fall. She's got eight. Three minutes to go, fourth quarter. McCautry almost picked the pocket, and then Gray knows that was a mistake. Just a little miscommunication, and that's evidence of players playing with one another for the first time. This is game one for these teams of week three, an all-new lineup. Well, that and the fact that there were two players who ran to Haley Jones, Angel McCautry being one of them, and she just got a hand on it, and Haley Jones just getting in a rush to get rid of the basketball. Air Hearn now has 25 as she adds to her career high day at the office, and it's great to see Kelsey Mitchell back out there after she left in difficulty just a couple minutes ago. See Colson at the cup. Ooh, she's so shifty. Nice little first step. Another double-double via assist for Odyssey Sims. 18 points, 10 dimes. She's got three of those this season. McCautry, rebound, put back twice. No. Kelsey Mitchell again on the deck. Angel McCautry's just taking everybody out for Team, for team Gray right now. I'm just worried there might not be enough ice in the bath for Kelsey. Oh, the block is called as Gray will earn another trip to the free throw line. Team Gray winning the quarter 23 to 18, but on the wrong side of the scoreboard here with two minutes to go in the game, down by just a single point. Alicia Gray, Alicia Gray continues to cook 36 points and 10 rebounds. Athletes Unlimited continues Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern as Team Sims faces Team Cloud. Check out where to watch on the website, auprosports.com, or find it on our social accounts at auprosports. 37 piece for Gray. Air yeah, Hearn doing everything she can to try and stay in front of Alicia Gray, but Alicia is so crafty with the basketball. 12th lead change in the game, 38 points for Gray, almost a turnover. McCautry getting it to Brown somehow, what a find. And we've broken the century mark, Sims 100, Gray 99, a buck and a half to go here in the fourth quarter. January calling out the defense she wants to see from the sideline as facilitator. Plays on for three. The hoop wouldn't have it. Jones skies for the rebound. Kelsey Mitchell, that three is a new AU record. Seven on the day. Kelsey Mitchell calling out the defense she wants her team to play. Kelsey Mitchell now with 28 points. Odyssey can't answer from range. And Mitchell controls the rebound. Gray leading the quarter and the game with the basketball. A minute to go. Odyssey Sims picking pockets. She's all alone. And we're tied at 102. I see you all. Oh, that lefty. There is something that gives a left-handed player an advantage when it comes to creating steal opportunities. And I don't know what that is, but I know I absolutely hate it guarding left-handed players when I play. Plays on off the mark. Sims with the rebound. She's looking for teammates wearing purple. Angel calling for it. Stop. Pops. Off the mark. Rebound. Put back. Bell is there. And 
and Team Gray wants to talk about it with the timeout as Team Sims takes the lead, 104-102. But it is Team Gray leading the quarter, 28 to 24. Taking a look at how we got to this juncture and Kelsey Mitchell with an AU record seven three-pointers on the day. But you, you cannot leave Kelsey Mitchell. You gotta find her because she is deadly from deep and Odyssey Sims just quick hands. Give me that. Pushing in transition for easy two. And Team Sims just trying to take the lead. Angel McCaudry can't knock it down, but Kirsten Bell there for the offensive putback. I'd like to thank everybody that helps us bring you Athletes Unlimited Basketball. Statistician Steve Hunt, so money today. Producer Casey Carter, director Brett Lancaster. Everybody in Raleigh, everybody here in Dallas, thank you so much for all of your hard work. Because you're making Cheryl and I look really good, and we appreciate that. So <laughs> let's talk strategy, Swoops. What do you want to see out of this timeout? Well, Team Sims is probably saying don't let Kelsey Mitchell or Alicia Gray get the ball, score the ball. So I, it wouldn't surprise me if they use one of those two as a decoy because Haley Jones has been really good mm -hmm. in this fourth quarter as well. So, But I, I would absolutely look for them to try and get the ball in Alicia Gray's hand hands and, ma and make her create something. A career high 38 points for Alicia Gray. Haley Jones with a career high 17 points to go along with five rebounds and Gray also has the double double with 10 rebounds to go along with that career high 30 piece. So here we go. Ball out of bounds on the side. Gray getting it into the big guard Jones who gets it back to Colson who's directing traffic. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Colson getting it to Alicia who puts it up. That prayer's not answered and Brown comes down with the rebound. And then Brown just throws it away. Kelsey Mitchell, her eighth three-pointer on the day. And that was for the lead. Team Gray has taken the lead. 105-104. Kelsey Mitchell with 31 on eight. A 14 shooting from three. Kalani Brown can't believe it. Yeah, Kalani is like, I don't know why I did that. Just hold on to it. I mean, Kelsey Mitchell is saying, thank you very much. In her shooting pocket. Yeah, like she didn't right have to where roll. she wanted it. Yes, that, that's the type of pass that a shooter always wants from her teammate. But 12 seconds, that's plenty of time for Team Sims to get a bucket. So Team Gray will likely win this quarter, even if Team Sims comes through with a game-winning play to end the game, because they are leading the quarter 31 to 24. So good for them. A 30-piece plus here in this fourth quarter for the 60 leaderboard points for every player on the roster. Team Sims can win the game at the end here with 12 seconds to go. Who do you want shooting the basketball wearing purple? Well, Odyssey's going to have the ball, and, and Odyssey's going to create something. She's either going to get to the hole. If, if Kalani can shake that last playoff, what she has to do, she's been really good on the offensive end in the paint. So I would look for Odyssey to go try to get it in to Kalani if she can't create something for herself. 31 points for Kelsey Mitchell, 38 points for Alicia Gray. We have a record. We have never had a pair of 30-point scores on the same team in a game. The records, I, I mean, like, the glass is falling everywhere <laughs> from all of these records. It's crazy. Lace up your sneakers tight. Here we go, 12.1 seconds to go. Air Hearn already has a career high day at the office. Almost lost the handle. Clock is ticking. Kirsten Bell off the mark. Battle for the rebound. Putback is good. Come on, old school. McCountry up and in. Baseball pass picked up by Brown. This time she hangs on. And Odyssey Sims and company win at the buzzer. 106 to 105.
five. Team Gray does win the quarter, 31 to 26. But what a fantastic finish for Odyssey Sims and company. Well, I, I'm happy for Kalani because she felt so bad on that turnover. And Angel McCautry says, who says I need to retire? <laughs> 17th lead change was the game-winning shot. The 10th of the quarter, there will be no challenge about the end of the game. And Team Sims earns 180 points with the game victory. Another work at look at this final play, Cheryl. I mean, Kirsten Bell gets a good look, but Angel McCautry, old school, not giving up on the play. I see you doing the dirty work. Offensive rebound, putting putting it back to win the ball game. What an ending. Once again, our final score, 106 to 105. Hitting the century mark is nothing for these teams here in season three. To the victors go the victory pose. 106-105. What an outstanding effort. Team Sims led by as many as 12. They had to come back because Team Gray was terrific in the first quarter, winning 29 to 24. Kelani Brown walking over to the table trying to explain what happened to the on that Kelsey Mitchell pass where she set the record with eight made triples. Janae Sims is standing by with a special player. Janae, take it away. Odyssey, oh, have your moment, have your moment. What a game, what a turnaround from five seconds to go with a three out of nowhere where it wasn't supposed to be to this put back for the win. How are you feeling right now? Oh my gosh, one of the craziest endings to a game that I've ever been a part of. My blood, my blood pressure is real high. I'm glad we won the game, but oh my gosh, what was that at the end? Coming out of that time out, is that the play that you wanted? Uh, yes and no. Uh, it was supposed to be a pitchback. Uh, Aaron was supposed to get it, give it to me. I was supposed to come off the ball screen, but hey, it worked out. They just played. I wasn't the first option, second option. I don't care. Missed it, got a good shot, got the rebound because of Angel. That's the MVP today. She came through clutch at, in the fourth quarter for us. Applaud her, but thank goodness we got the win. Thank you. Thank you so much, Odyssey. Congrats. A terrific day for Odyssey Sims and company as they get the win 106 to 105. What's your biggest takeaway from this game, Cheryl? The game's not over until the buzzer sounds. Five players in double figures for Odyssey Sims and company. Yeah, they had contributions from everybody on the floor, and I am just, I hate to see Team Gray lose, but I'm happy for Kalani mm -hmm. to be able to redeem herself. The redemptive turn indeed. Our final score, 106 to 105, as Team Sims joins Team Cloud in the win column here on day one of week three. Athletes Unlimited Basketball continues Saturday at 3 Eastern as Team Sims helping us grow the game with Athletes Unlimited Pro Women's Basketball here in Dallas, Texas.